Did Janelle Parrish almost give up on her acting career because of internet trolls? How is Ross Butler involved in a real-life murder case? And how did Noah go from Hollywood hunk to drug addict and back again? Hi, I'm Janet, Janelle Parrish. All right, everybody, alert the media, call your girls, grab your diaries, and let the fanfic begin, because our favorite Netflix rom-com is coming back. That's right, after almost a year of some serious withdrawals from Peter and Lara Jean's love story, we couldn't be more excited to hear that the trilogy to all the boys, always and forever, will be dropping soon. And just in time for Valentine's Day, too. So, if you missed the major announcement, just know that on February 12th, you'll have a date with Peter and Lara and the rest of the gang. And while we are all living for all of the teenage love drama that this film brings, it seems that there are some personal struggles that the cast is currently dealing with when the cameras aren't rolling. Starting with Janelle. Playing Lara Jean's cool older sister Margot, it's clear that Janelle is becoming a household name. From Pretty Little Liars to Might Oak, Janelle is clearly not letting a pandemic stop her from creating some seriously bingeable TV. And with a schedule like hers, you'd think she's completely invincible. But in an emotional interview, Janelle proved that she's just like us. No matter how famous, rich, or talented you are, you can still have some major insecurities that people choose to exploit. Sitting down with People magazine, the former Pretty Little Liars alum shared how she had been bullied all throughout high school. I have had experiences being bullied. For me, it was definitely high school. I was not the popular girl at all, Parrish said. According to the 29-year-old, kids at school would bully her for being a theater kid. So while her deep-rooted love for the arts would eventually make her famous, at school, loving the theater would only land you on the school's geek list. Eventually, Parrish was pulled from school and later homeschooled in Hawaii. That didn't mean she would escape all of the bullying. After landing her role on Pretty Little Liars, Janelle felt as if she were back in high school. Except this time around, the bullying was 10 times worse, thanks to internet trolls. From nasty comments on Instagram to death threats in her DMs, the constant hate made Janelle feel unworthy and self-conscious. In fact, at one point, it got so bad that the starlet considered giving up on her acting career because the bullying got so bad. But to the relief of many, she totally rose above all of the internet hate, thanks to her family. Instead of letting the haters get to her, she chose to lean on her family and friends, who continued to support her and remind her that she is enough. And we are so glad that she can now be an important reminder to all of you that you are loved, important, and adored. Ross Butler. If you don't already know his name, you may want to memorize it now, because you will all definitely be seeing a lot more of Ross. From playing Reggie Mantle in Riverdale to Zach Dempsey in Netflix's drama, 13 Reasons Why, we just can't contain our excitement that he will now be on our screens in To All the Boys, Always and Forever. But if you thought that he only plays in dramas on screen, you'll be surprised to hear that there is quite a bit of drama happening behind the scenes when it comes to Butler. Ready to hear the most dramatic thing you've probably heard all day? Ross Butler is being accused of conspiring murder. And no, this isn't a joke. According to police reports, Butler is in the middle of a messy court battle where he is being sued by Kurt Cobain's daughter's ex-husband, Isaiah Silva. In the reports, it is said that several individuals, including Ross Butler and Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain's ex, conspired to break into Silva's home and murder him with the intent of stealing one of the former Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain's iconic guitars. Although Butler was in the home the evening of the break-in, he is denied trying to steal Kurt Cobain's famous guitar that he had played during MTV's episode of Unplugged back in 1993. I never entered into a conspiracy or otherwise agreed to commit any crime against Silva, the documents read. I never conspired with anyone else to murder or kidnap Silva or take possession of a guitar that Silva claims Ms. Cobain gave to him as a gift. And while Butler's team is choosing to stay tight-lipped on the whole situation, Courtney Love had a few things to say. In response to the lawsuit, Love said that the claims were totally baseless and nonsense. Only time will tell how this court battle will unfold. But for fans of the actor, finding out that he is part of a vicious court case didn't go down too well, unfortunately.
Noah Centineo. Even if you have seen a quick glimpse of To All The Boys, we can already guarantee that you are already obsessed with Noah, aka Peter Kavinsky. Now, if you haven't binged the first two films, firstly, where have you been? And secondly, you're in for an absolute treat. Peter Kavinsky is worth all the hype that he receives. But living up to being a teenage heartthrob and Netflix cutie definitely comes at a rather hefty price. Turns out that being a Hollywood hunk isn't always everything it's cut out to be. And Noah is proof of that. Underneath all of that charm, hilarious wit, and washboard abs was a boy suffering from a serious addiction. In a recent interview, Noah spoke about the dark side of Hollywood and how he has gone on to experience some of the darkest days of his entire life. After his parents' divorce, the actor found himself slipping into a deep depression. In an effort to deal with all of the mounting stress, rising fame, and a broken home, Noah developed a substance abuse problem. Noah admits to having used almost every single drug that he could get a hold of. There wasn't a single narcotic substance that he wouldn't try. Underneath the happy face, the 24-year-old was just trying to cope with following his acting dream, whilst still being the man of the household after his father moved out of the house. Eventually, Noah admitted to feeling crushed by all of the pressure and decided to seek out help. He has been clean for the past several years. So instead of turning to drugs, whenever he is stressed, he chooses to engage in healthier activities instead. To help keep his sanity intact, Noah shares that he enjoys taking hot baths, journaling, and meditating. If he is feeling like he can not control his frustrations, he chooses to scream at himself while staring in the mirror. He says that this helps him keep a hold of his emotions. And he is noticing how these healthier coping mechanisms are not only helping his career, but his relationships too. And we couldn't be happier or more proud of him. Also, don't forget that if you are looking to get more insider scoop on all of your favorite celebrities, make sure to subscribe to our channel for exclusive content. Jordan Fisher All right, if we're being honest though, we were obsessed with Jordan Fisher, but it turns out that Netflix has his beat. It seems that they can't stop casting Fisher in Netflix originals, and we don't blame them. From playing the one and only John Ambrose to playing Jake Taylor in Work It, it seems that Netflix wants us to be obsessed with Jordan, and we are more than happy to oblige. But it seems that the 26-year-old actor isn't just collecting Netflix deals. He's busy discovering the source of all his successes, and it's his parents. Fisher exclusively shared with People magazine how being adopted by his grandmother and step-grandfather helped him find unconditional love and support. Opening up about his adoption, Fisher shared how he might only be sharing his story now, but he isn't embarrassed about his adoption at all. According to the actor, his biological mother wasn't fit to raise a kid, given that she was only 16 years old. And so, he was taken in by his grandparents, who encouraged him to pursue his dreams, one of which was acting. With their blessing and encouragement, Jordan was off to Hollywood. And well, the rest was history. Lana Condor if there is one thing that we can definitely say about Lana, it's that she totally stole all of our hearts as Lara Jean. And even though she gets to cuddle up with Babe Magnet, Noah Centineo stars in a Netflix trilogy and has become a total household name, Lana shared how she suffers from an issue that 97% of women suffer from, negative body image. In a rather emotional interview with Elle magazine, the 23-year-old actress confessed to having struggled with an eating disorder. Before pursuing an acting career, Lana shared how she had always wanted to be a dancer, but that the pressures to have a certain body shape ruined her sense of body image. I know what it's like to have an eating disorder and body dysmorphia, and also what it's like to be a friend to someone who has that," she told Elle Canada. Being in the limelight following the success to all the boys meant dealing with the high pressures of looking thin. From paparazzi shots to red carpet appearances, being told to look a certain way by the media took a toll on the actress. Suffering from body dysmorphia, Lana eventually decided to seek out some help, and thankfully, she has since developed a better relationship with herself and food. Just check out her Instagram page for proof. Condor often shares shots of all the delicious food that she is enjoying. From baked goods to fries and sushi, it's clear that her relationship with food is a lot healthier. Instead of hating her body, she is celebrating it and encouraging all of her fans to do the same. Amelia Baranak Can we just take a moment to appreciate how good M is into all the boys? P.S. I still love you. The Serbian-Canadian star plays the role of Genevieve, the most popular girl at school, Peter's ex, and Lara's former BFF. 
And while she may play a mean girl on screen, she's the complete opposite in real life. Baranak actually had to deal with her own mean girls growing up. The 26-year-old shared how her first language was actually Serbian. Given the fact that she couldn't speak English at school, she grew up pretty shy and unliked by her peers. She often shared how being unable to speak English broke down her self-esteem. So, to help save her from bullying at school, her parents enrolled her in acting classes to improve her English. And it worked wonders. Em began feeling a lot more comfortable expressing herself, so much so that she eventually decided to take her talents to Hollywood. And well, in a few months, she had already nabbed a role on Riverdale. Not too shabby, huh? But her stream of TV successes still shocks Amelia, who went from a shy girl from a town in British Columbia to rubbing shoulders with Hollywood royalty. So while she may be able to speak English now, she chooses to stay close to her roots and continue to speak Serbian with her parents every day. And we just love how she always stays true to herself. We want to know what your thoughts are on this cast's personal drama stories. Whose story shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.